of the home of the Tigers since 2000. Comerica Park here in the Motor City. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the New York Mets and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And on the hill here today, Tarek Skubal. What do you have on him, Singy? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Ready to go. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. And that's outside. And this one is off and running. And the 1-0. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And it's into the gap. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And a strike in there. There's a swing and a drive. It bangs off the wall. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. They really turned on that one, and as it hooked down the line, it was hard to tell if it would stay fair, but it just barely sneaked in there. Here's Francisco Lindor. Foul the corner for a strike. Going one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. McNeil leads off second with nobody out. That one fouled off. And a pitch. Just misses. And it's one and two. It's a good take. And a base hit up the middle. McNeil headed home. The throw in. He'll score easily. It's two nothing. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's Pete Alonso. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. To first, and he breaks for second. To second, and he's out. Just missed. Two runs across in the inning, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. On the ground to short, Baez. Slings to first, and that takes care of Alonzo. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. 
Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think oh, with outside. the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Green going after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Mets, two. The Tigers coming to bat. And we're back. And towing the slab, Jose Quintana. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And here is Parker Meadows. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And the one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Right through there for a strike. That's hard hit on the line. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Okay, let's check out the lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two-seamers, Really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. But when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Left-hand hitter waits. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Well, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Next offering way upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. You don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Lindor makes the grab. Two down. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. And next to hit for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. That's a little bit high, and it's one to know. And another ball. On the ground, and that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. And the Tigers retired one, two, three. New inning getting started, and now the Mets DH, DJ Stewart. DJ Stewart. As the lefty gets to work, down the middle for a strike. And it's 0-1. Scooble, he's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep. And that is especially valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the ballpark so much. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. 
it's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you want the bases to be empty. And that's where control and command really comes into play for a guy like this. Oh. And there's a the ball. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those. More margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Bounce to the right. Keith gathers and throws to first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. That pitch gets the corner, and that is strike one. Two out, space is empty. And that one clips the corner. Next pitch is outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs. Right through there. Got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. And the Mets go down one, two, three. But they're on top two, nothing. Back here in Detroit. And now the DH, Kerry Carpenter. Why to kick the pitch? That one finds the zone. It's 0 oh 1. Quintana, a former All Star, he features a sinker, a four seamer, a curve, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. A flip to the pitcher covering, and a quick out number one. Here's Mark Canna. First pitch misses for ball one. The Tigers down by a pair. Bottom half of inning number two. In there at the knees. And the count even at one. Base hit center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Run around at first with one gone. Now it's the second baseman, Colt Keith. Ball one there. Oh, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The 1 0. Check swing, and that's a ball. No, no. That's off. 
the inside edge. And that's ball three. Gio Urshela waits on deck. Canna at first, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. Drops into the glove, and there's two away. Here's Gio Urshela. First pitch just misses. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Bader snags it, and that is the inning. One left for Detroit. They trail things here, 2-0. at Comerica Park and now Bader up to the plate the pitch fly ball to right Green settles under it he's got it and there's one down here's Brandon Nimmo let off the game with a double in his first at bat and later scored Ball one, no strikes. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. One ball, one strike. And another ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. And that's ball, ball four. four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. One down at the play. McNeil. Jeff McNeil. One for one with a double and a run scored. Runner on the go. On the ground to the left. And there's a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So one out with two aboard. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Swing it a foul straight back. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And a pitch. In the air, right field. That's down, one hops off the wall. The run scores from third, and they lead by three. And into second with one away, that's a double. Back-to-back -back base hits. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first hit back. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one.
Two on, one out. That one ripped, but foul. And now the lefty. Still two and two after the foul ball. McNeil, the runner at third. Lindor at second with one away. Got him swinging. And there are two down. Here's Starling Marte. He's over one. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Two on, two outs. One and one. Right through there for a strike. On the ground to third. Can't field it cleanly. Save! Fantastic effort, but that extends the inning. Now it's DJ Stewart struck out swinging his first time. Oh. And that's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. Two outs. Fouled off left side. The one one. Little chopper rolls foul. Corners are occupied with two down. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Step off throw to first. Marte back in standing. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Francisco Alvarez. Up next for the Mets. Here comes a 3 2. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now that. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Grounded out his first time. Just missed. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. The one two. That oh, one missed. Okay. Base is loaded. Two down. Foul ball. Another two two upcoming. And he deals. Now fly ball to right center. Green on the run. 
And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. As two runs score on the play. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, boy. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. And here comes the Tigers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Eric Scoobel done for the day. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a pitcher after this break. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen. Joey Wentz. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. So two down. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. That clips the zone. 1 1. Second and third, two down. There's a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So nine batters come to the plate. Four of them score. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Mets six and the Tigers nothing. As we go to the last of the third. And now the shortstop, Javier Baez. Quintana back to work. Pitch misses. Ball one. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. That one catches the zone. And a count even one and one. Stop takes the ball. And they'll do it again. Kicks and fires. Fights it off. You'll see another. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Back there. Going gone. And they're on the board. It's 6-1. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Jake Rogers. First no, pitch, and he just misses. One ball, no strike. And that's outside. That's Just off the inside edge. Huh. And a strike. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. 
It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Meadows takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The 1-0. Yes. And another ball. The Mets leading by five here in the last half of the third. Two and two. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second. And two. In time to first for the double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's Riley Green. First time up was a pop out. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Bounced out to short. Lindor throws the first. That ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Bader. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, these Mets really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. Looking at the numbers, they've got four hits when they're behind in the count. That says they are absolutely battling at the plate and just not giving up, despite what the count says. The pitch. And ball one. And if you're a manager or a hitting coach, you love to see your team really fighting for every at bat, every pitch. It tells you a lot about how they showed up to the ballpark today. That's down and in. Three that balls. one misses. Three balls, two strikes. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Now the left fielder, the left Brandon fielder. Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. Flopper to right field, way back, gone. A solo shot. It's 7 1. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle. So when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Base is empty, one away. Jeff McNeil stands in. No, Just missed. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
That's back-to-back -back singles back. for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. He didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Right through there for a strike. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Lindor swings through that one. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Got it by him for the K. Well, that was the cutter down and in right there. And typically, if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. Alonzo up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. And another ball. 2 0 count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Two outs. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that takes care of Alonzo. And that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's 7 1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Ready to, go, Ready to go, bottom four. four and now the first baseman, the first Spencer baseman. Torkelson. Torkelson. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes the pitch. Well. Close, but call the ball. Two balls and a strike. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Here's a 2-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Knock that one away and we'll do it again. Comes the two two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. And that one upstairs. Three ball. Two straight. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So he battled through a long at bat and earned himself a hit. But when you see that many pitches in an at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Kerry Carpenter up now for the Tigers. That's in there. That's strike one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. 0-1 now. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Oh, that one. one misses, and the count is one and two. Oh, 
wouldn't chase that time. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one out now. Boog gets now talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. And here it comes. One ball, one strike. Torkelson over at first with one away. Ball. And now two balls and a strike. And now the lefty. Foul ball. Out towards right center field, Marte sizing this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Colt. And next up for the Tigers, Colt Keith. Fly to left his first time. There's a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. Oh. Squirts away a little bit. He's in there. And now a man into scoring position. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swings through that one for strike two. Man on second, two down. Goes down looking. Tigers lead one. They're down seven to one. And we're back. Starling Marte up to hit. The right fielder, number six. Starling Marte. Wentz back to work. And a foul ball. Well, these Mets, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. The that misses. Going to count one and two. Why to kick the pitch? Gets a piece and stays alive. The one two. two that two. one is upstairs. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Three, and two. it skips into dirt. Now a screamer into the outfield. Marte retired. And there's one down. Now that DJ. So digging in, DJ Stewart. Hey. 
That one's in there, 0 1. Well, as a left handed hitter, you kind of expect that breaking ball from the lefty, so you just want to track it and get an idea because you know it's going to come into play later in the at bat. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Now the catcher up to hit. Francisco Alvarez. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. Out to short. Throw on to Torkelson. And the Mets go one, two, three. Down in order go the Mets. And they're on top seven to one. Ready to go for the last half of the well, inning. Now at the plate, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Tigers need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. McNeil gets it to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Javier Baez. He's already homered here in this one. Clips the corner. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Good oh, eye on that nice. spot. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Bader calls it in, and there's two away. So they're down to their final out. Jake Rogers will hit next. He reached out a walk his first time. There's the strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And now it's even up. And a foul ball. Quintana is just one strike away. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. And another ball. Is the ball game good win by six runs always nice when you can win by a touchdown or a couple of field goals you want to keep that momentum going knowing the offense can score at will bring it into the next one and get another w and a 7-1 finish in this one for chris singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at mlb the show i'm john chomby thanks for joining us